Hey guys, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm out here with our solar telescope. Um, it's a hydrogen, it's a hydrogen alpha telescope that only lets you see hydrogen light. Um, this isn't H beta, this is hydrogen alpha, which is a very bright, um, well, deep red. And I just wanted to show you guys our first live stream of the sun. Well, basically live view. Um, we have two really big active regions today, which I'm really excited about to show you guys. So I just like showing the edge to give you guys some, some point of view. Um, I'll go around it real quick. The sun is massive and even my telescope is zoomed in way too far. I mean, you can't zoom in a telescope. Telescopes come at a set um, power, but you can use different optics to reduce that power. And I don't have those yet, so we're looking at a at um, maybe a tenth of the sun um, when the screen is filled. As you can see, it just keeps going and going and going. And you can also see a big fat fingerprint mark right on one of the optics optical pathway um, pieces, whether it be the lens of the telescope, the refractor, whether it be the hydrogen alpha um, filter itself, whether it be the infrared cutting filter, whether it be the blocking filter, um, or whether it is the lens on my camera. Uh, I have no idea, but there's a big fat fingerprint there for you guys to look at. But, um, so yeah, the sun is massive. It is a million times bigger than the earth and the earth is huge to begin with the universe has some amazingly huge things if you can really tell i'm trying to focus as much as i can while i'm doing this but you can tell after you um look past my fingerprints that you can see all these dark spots and lighter spots and you might even catch catch a glimpse of, of a bright white glare um these are all cooler and hotter um surface parts of the sun and right now I'm going to go try to find those active regions. There's one. Um, they're right next to each other, which is really cool. But um, you can also probably see some birds, some satellites flying by. Um, the sun is boiling hot. And you know when you're looking at a mirage on the ground, basically the optics have to go through tons of atmosphere just to be able to show us this view. And so it's wobbly. These are these are wobbly live views, and that's that's the best way to describe it. Um, if we hold still for a second, the Earth is spinning at a thousand miles per hour, so you're going to see the sun slowly moving. That's not the sun moving; it is the Earth actually spinning, not orbiting, but spinning around the sun. But here we have a sunspot. Check this out. This is a sunspot, which is a magnetic basically outpouring or, or outburst of material when um when material it's hard to it's hard to describe um in my amateur with my amateur brain but basically you have these magnetic fields and they and sometimes they're so strong that they that they push out material from the sun and these you might have seen them in posters but these magnetic rings they're huge huge like elliptical rings that come off the surface of the sun and they flop they flop material out and basically there should be two sunspots for every for every sunspot people say oh there's a sunspot today no there should be two why because a ring has two parts that come out one goes out and one returns so there's two sunspots they're usually right next to each other or close to each other I'm trying to find this again, sorry guys. But they're usually right next to each other or close to each other, and you can actually um, try to take a guess at which one is outbursting and which one is actually returning. Um, it's really cool, and when these when these active regions come up and enough solar wind or, and activity comes throughout, basically solar wind coming all the way to the Earth, um, that's how we get our aurora. 
and this really messes up radio frequencies there we go this re really messes up gps radio frequencies things like that um but it's beautiful so it's a uh, you give and you take some but yeah so you can see two one lower darker region that's probably where it blew out and then the returning man the bugs this year right the returning spot is a is the returning ring and you can also see how it's there's some um, features like lines like it like a crater basically on the moon so there's probably a few you see all those dark spots there's probably one two three or four rings or four sets of sunspots coming out right there which is really cool and I'm going to stack this video later in, in post-processing um, with Photoshop and bring out some colors and show you what this really looks like in a time lapse. But until then, whoop, wrong way. Until then, we're just going to look at it live. Now, when you look through our eyepieces and you come to our events, you're going to see this, but you're going to see, um, you're going to see uh, a bright red version of this like an actual colorized version um which is really fun so here's the other region this one's huge um this is probably i don't know 10 20 times as wide as the earth i mean these the sun is gigantic you cannot even imagine but okay so we have one dark outbursting ring um or outbursting magnetic force coming out the right side and it's probably ringing back towards the left side. Um, so the one coming out on the right or the left right could be completely wrong. Um, but I do know if one comes out, it's got to connect back somewhere. So, yeah, this is really cool. And the views are actually pretty good right now. I am literally dripping sweat out of every pore in my body. And I'm wearing a straw hat uh, with a black shirt outside. And the bugs are having a field day on me. Um, but I really wanted to try this. I haven't set this up and actually set up the the wireless computer with the Wi-Fi and the extensions and all these things. Um, but now that the kids moved out, <laughs> we have we have a little um, I guess uh, command center and um, but to set it up you got to be outside. Anyways, I'm, I'm just connected to it and running it through my phone. You can see me pressing the buttons back and forth. Um, but this is a really cool way to control an image um, during the daytime and nighttime. Um, I can go and look at the images I've taken. I have the control and the speed of how fast the telescope moves. I have our location, um, 19 hours and 50 minutes and one second um, in our right ascension and declination. 18 27 20 we have our wi-fi signal we have our camera which is a um zwasi 120 mm mono which so it's a one shot or it's a one single color there's no color on it there's no red green or blue filters it's just a mono camera and i have to go in and post process and add those layers to it afterwards the reason we do that is because when you have a color camera you have filters that are covering over the Bayer matrix and that's that's blocking data from getting to the sensor. Um, so we get mono cameras and do imaging with mono and then we do an imaging with a red filter, then a blue filter, then a green filter. It's four times longer, but the end result is amazing. Um, I can have two cameras hooked up to this but I only have one the small one right now we have our bigger one inside that I'm not trying to bring out here during the sun even though it, it is a cooled camera it's amazing um, but not today as for my first attempt we have our guide scope settings um, no guide scope today we have our telescope which is the mount is a Celestron we're running a William optics 80 millimeter Zenith star um, and we have a filter wheel, no filters on here today. We have our electronic focuser, not on today. And we have our SD card with the storage. This is an amazing little app, and I'm so grateful um, to be able to be in this position to show you guys these things, um, teach you, and kind of give you an idea, see if you want to get into this yourself. There's so many, oh boy, astronomy is a deep, 
deep pool that you can dive into. Um, it's just endless. People have been doing it for 40 years and still are learning stuff every night they go out. Um, but yeah, this is, it's really cool. I can put a crosshair on here for deep sky objects or planets. Um, I can get rid of everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to turn off the recording of the actual sun. Um, I'm going to flip forward. Nope. I'm going to go to our image management and maybe pull up some... My gosh, these mosquitoes are crazy today. They've been crazy for the last month. Um, this is literally the first time I've been out. I haven't been out during the day. I'm sorry, during the nighttime because of the mosquitoes. Um, but just look at that sunspot. That's absolutely gorgeous. Let me get rid of this crosshair. But you can see it boiling and bubbling and wobbling. There's just so much heat coming off of this thing. Uh, it's just, it's hard to even describe, but I love it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we're working with right now, which is, I'm outside with the sun. <laughs> What's up? I look like such a goober. But, um, this is our scope. It is the William Optics Xenostar 80. I'm out here on a beautiful... Tucson, Arizona, desert, hot day. Um, we got cables everywhere. This is our tiny little camera. Um, this is our hydrogen alpha filter, and I can control what features we can see, like the chromosphere, um, or or maybe um, like uh, flares or or prominences. I'm sorry. We have our two battery packs. Um, yeah, this is it. This is what we do. And I have a, temp a therm thermometer hooked right up to the telescope's focuser. Um, this is how you focus, just like a camera. Um, and the winner today is this little tiny computer. And I have a Wi-Fi extender on it. But it is just beautiful. Um, I have four USB 3.0 cables hooked up to it, running four different things, including the mount itself. And I have a... Um, data stick, 4 USB output, or 12 volt output, and um, an SD, micro SD card. So yeah, I'm just, it's amazing, and I can't wait, wait to teach um, high school kids, and even elementary kids, with a simple telescope and a solar filter on it, um, how to look at sunspots and how to catch them and give them solar glasses and things like this. It's just a dream come true. So thanks guys for joining us and tuning in today. I'm going to go back inside because I'm, I'm uh, very sweaty now. Um, have a wonderful day and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.